page six. We return, we return, we return, return again. We return, we return, we return, return again and again. To love, love, love. We return again. Return. We return, we return, we return, we return, return again. We return, we return, we return, we return, we return, return again and again to true. Shana Tova, it is wonderful to be here tonight and it is, I am profoundly grateful to the Preston Meadow Lutheran Church and everyone who has made this happen so that we could be here today. Last week on Shabbat, we read Parshat Nitzavim and in that portion we are told that we stood before God to enter into the covenant. Both those who are here today and those who are not here today. And so I want to welcome everyone, those who are here physically in the room with me today, and those who are at home and joining us today. Whether you are here or at home, we are together in community 
standing before God. We continue on page seven. Summer's gone, somewhere nights grow cold. These are the days of awe. The shofar blows with bread in hand down to the sea. We take time, give thanks and cast our sadness free. That we may start fresh, that we may come clear, that we may know sweetness and peace throughout the year. That we may find love where we need it most and open our hearts and hands and draw each other close. A day to fast and count the ways we've promised and fallen short, we meet, we meet each other's gaze. Begin again, life won't wait, time turns and we return and walk on through the gates. Under the moon, a roof of trees, we bring in the harvest. Beneath the stars, we eat and sing for joy. Make ourselves strong, we'll reap what we've sown. May it last all year long, that we may start fresh, that we may come clear, that we may know sweetness and peace throughout the year, that we may find love where we need it most, and open our hearts and hands and draw each other close. We continue welcoming the day on page 10. Creation's brightest light, the mystics say, was hidden at the dawn of time. But on this sacred night, this night of hope and joy, a glimmer of that light is here. In candles flame in children's eyes, in eyes aglow with wisdom's light, it shines in the faces of the ones we love, in grateful hearts, in tears of loss. It lives in memories of goodness and our own desire to do right, to try again, to build anew, to ask forgiveness and make peace. We enter this new year and look upon the beauty of these lights. So may the days of all renew the light within us. The AC blowing on it. Oh. You can do this. Sorry, folks, it's the AC blowing on the candle. Oh, good. Stay strong, good. Stay strong. Buraka Tara Naya Wahani Nakaba, a share kitchen of the midst of the Tihani, a hybrid air shall not die. Amen. Source of blessing, eternal our God, you fill the universe with majestic might teaching us holiness through sacred obligations, giving us the mitzvah of bringing light on this festival. Baruch Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, asher kedishanu b'mitzvotah, Vetsivanu lahadlik ner, lahadlik ner, shall yom tov. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, 
Shehechianu, Bekiyamanu, Behigianu, Lazman Hazeh. Amen. Page 12. <clears throat> to everything there is a season and a time for every purpose under the heaven. This is the soul, this is the season of the soul, a time to rejoice, a time to reflect, a time to return, a time to gather round the table with loved ones and friends, a time for song and silence, for prayer and confession to open, our, open the heart, a time to retreat to our sanctuaries, sanctuaries within, a time to renew the life and spirit of our community. This is the season of eternities, a time to notice what has unfolded and what has not, a time to regret, a time to forgive, a time to remember, cherish dreams, and high ideas erased by reality. This is the season of hope, like mist rising at sunset, like the dew descending at dark. Our hopes beautiful and nourish everything they touch. Our hopes make us partners in creation purpose of peace, people who aspire to the world of justice. This is the season of awe. When your eyes behold it, may we feel blessed. When we turn towards each other, let us feel strength. When we seek the holy, may we find purpose. May we find courage and their courage, may we find love. Page 15. Tikku the Kodesh of Far, Bakesel Yom Hagenu, Kihok Le Israel, Mishpat Le Lohe Yaakov, Mishpat. At the new moon, at the full moon, for our feast day sound the shofar, for that is the law of Israel, the way of the God of Jacob. We continue on page 17. Am so poor in deeds, I tremble in fear, overwhelmed and apprehensive before you to whom Israel sings praise. Although unworthy, I rise to pray and seek favor for your people Israel, for they have entrusted me with this task. Therefore, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, God of Sarah, Rebekah, Rachel, and Leah, Adonai, Adonai, merciful, gracious God, who inspires awe, I pray to you for success on my path. I pray for myself and my community. Do not hold them responsible for my wrongs and offenses. May my deeds cause them no shame, and may their deeds cause me no shame. Page 19. Eloheinu velohe avotenu v'imotenu yehi ratzon tzinizke livchotecha bishnat chameshet alafim shva meot shmonim ushtayim. Our God and God of our ancestors, may we know your blessings in the year 5,782. Eternal One, bless us with the whole house of Israel with renewed life happiness and peace, comfort and courage, resilience and strength. May the words of our heart be acceptable to you in the new year that stretches before us. We are forever grateful for the gift of life. 
Please rise for the Barafu. Blessed are you, Adonai, your great name fills the universe with majestic might. Your word creates twilight and dusk as your wisdom opens the gates of night. Your discernment separates the changing seasons and causes the passage of time. The stars arrayed across the sky reveal your design. You roll out the cycle of darkness and light, shaping day and night. You sweep away day and carry the world into nightfall, setting day apart from nighttime. You are God of all we can perceive and all that is beyond our perception. Living eternal God, be our sovereign to the end of time. Baruch ata Adonai hama'ariv aravim. Blessed are you, Adonai, creator of twilight and dusk. Love beyond all space and time, your love enfolds your people, Yisrael. We receive it in your teaching, your gift of Torah, sacred obligations, discipline, and law. So let us speak these teachings when we lie down and rise up and find joy forever in your Torah and mitzvot. They are the very essence of our life, ours to ponder and study all our days. May we never lose or be unworthy of your love. Baruch ata Adonai, Ohev amo Yisrael. For you are blessed, the one who loves your people Yisrael. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Baruch Shem Kevod Machuto Please be seated as we continue on page 28. <laughs> Asher no hi mitzavacha, ayom ma levavecha, v'shinatam levanecha, v'dibartam, v'shitecha v'vetecha, v'leftecha v'aderech, v'shofecha v'kumecha. Ushartam leot a yadecha, the hayulato to vote, bene necha, Uchtatam om zot betecha, Uvisharecha, Lemantis karu, Vasitem et comits votai, Vitem kerushim leloechem. Ahani Adonai Elohechem 
share of old say ETF Hem, Merit meets Rahim, Leot Lachem, Lohim, Ani Adonai Elohechem, Adonai Elohem, Amen. Page 32. Truth and faith, these are fundamental to our existence. God alone is their source, and we are Israel, a people of God. Our sovereign saves us from tyranny, redeems us from its violence through countless wonders, from its brutality through great feats beyond measure. We are Israel, a people of God, the giver of life who would not let our feet give way, the maker of miracles for us against Pharaoh, of signs and portents in the land of Egypt, the one who brought our people Israel from its midst to enduring freedom. Witness to this heroic might, the people thanked and praised God by name, <coughs> freely accepting the reign of heaven. Then Moses and Miriam and all Israel sang to you this song, the song of utter joy. Mikamocha bailim Adonai, Mikamocha nedar bakodesh, nor rata he lot, O se fele. Machutaka rauvanecha, Boke ayam, leave name O she. Page 36. Bless our sleep with peace, Adonai, and awaken us to life when we rise. With power sublime, spread over us your shelter of shalom, and through your wisdom restore us, make us whole. Let your name proclaim your presence in our lives. Be our shield, make us stronger than the enemies we face, illness and war, famine and sorrow, and stronger than the enemies in our hearts, wickedness and sin. Carry us to safety as on wings, for you are the monarch of grace, the sovereign of compassion. You are the one who cares for us and sets us free. Watch over us, we who go forth to life, watch over us, that we may come home in peace, now until the end of time. Baruch ata Adonai, haporei sukat shalom aleinu v'al kol amo Yisrael v'al Yerushalayim. Blessed one, you spread over us a canopy of peace, a shelter of shalom over all Israel, your people, and over Jerusalem. We continue on page 40. Would you please rise? Amen. <laughs> Amen. Yehesh me rabam mevorach le'alam ulame amaya ul alme almaya it barach it barach vish to vapi pa'arvi it roman vish it Vita da vita le vita la, shemeda kuda sha, brihu la e la u la e la, 
The words of our prayers must not fall off our lips like dead leaves in the autumn. They must rise like birds out of the heart into the vast expanse of eternity. Adonai sefetati tachu fiagita ilateta Adonai open my lips that my mouth may declare your praise. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Velohe avotenu vimotenu Elohe Abraham Elohe Yitzchak Velohe Yaakov Elohe Sarah Elohe Rita Elohe Leha Velohe You are holy, your name is holy. Seekers of holiness praise you day by day. Selah. Please be seated as we continue on page 49. And so, in your holiness, give all creation the gift of awe. Turn our fear to reverence. Let us be witnesses of wonder. 
Perceiving all nature as a prayer come alive, we bow to the sovereignty of your strength, the primacy of your power. We yearn for connection with all that lives, doing your will with wholeness of heart, awe-inspiring is your creation, all-encompassing your transcendent name. And so, in your holiness, give your people the gift of honor. Bless with praise those who praise you. Bless with hope those who seek you. Give your believers a basis for faith, true happiness for the land of Israel, true joy in Jerusalem. May the sparks of David, your servant, soon grow bright enough for us to see a beam of light in, in the darkness, a promise of perfection. And so, in your holiness, give the right, give the righteous the gift of a vision bright with joy, a world <laughs> where evil has no voice, and the rule of malevolence fades with wisps of smoke. Good people everywhere will celebrate the sunning sight of arrogance gone from the earth. You, and you alone, Adonai, will reign over creation. Upon Mount Zion, home of your presence, and in Jerusalem, a city set apart by you. As the psalmist believed, Adonai will reign eternally. Your God, Zion, for all generations. Hallelujah. You are holy. Your name is Ah. There is nothing divine beyond you. As the prophet Isaiah taught, the source of all might is exalted through justice. The God of holiness made holy through righteousness. Baruch atah Adonai HaMelech HaKadosh. Blessed are you, Adonai, Holy Sovereign. Page 53. You chose us with love to be messengers of mitzvot, and through us you made known your aspirations. Among the many peoples you gave us a pathway to holiness. Among all the great nations you uplifted us and made yourself our sovereign. And so we seek you and serve you and celebrate our nearness to your presence. Your great and sacred name has become our calling. In your love, eternal our God, you have given us this day of remembrance, a day for the shofar's joyful sound, a day of sacred assembly, a day to be mindful of our peoples going out from Egypt. Eloheinu velohe avotenu ve'imotenu ya'alei v'yavo v'yiga'ah v'yeira'eh v'yeira'tseh. Our God and God of the generations before us, may a memory of us ascend and come before you. May it be heard and seen by you, winning your favor and reaching your awareness together with the memory of our ancestors, the memory of your sacred city, Jerusalem, and the memory of your people, the family of Israel. May we be remembered for safety, well-being, and favor, for love and compassion, for life and for peace on this day of remembrance. Zochreinu Adonai Eloheinu bo letova. Ufokdeinu vo livracha. Amen. Vahoshienu vo lechaim. Amen. Eternal our God, remember us. Amen. Be mindful of us. Amen. And redeem us for a life of goodness and blessing. Amen. Favor us with words of deliverance and mercy. <laughs> Show us the depth of your care. God, we await your redemption for your reign with grace and compassion. Eloheinu velohe avotenu v'imotenu meloch. Our God who is ours and our God of fathers and mothers, you, you, in your glory you reign over the infinite expanse of space and time. In your grandeur be exalted. Through your power show us your reality. Then all who dwell on earth shall understand that you are their maker. Astound us with the beauty of your presence so that every breath of life shall say, Eternal is the God of Israel, all embracing God's rule and sovereignty. God who is ours and God of our fathers and mothers, lead us to holiness through your mitzvot, and may each of us find a portion of Torah that is ours. You bestow such goodness, teach us to be satisfied and to know the joy of your salvation. Help us to serve you, tr you truly with purity of heart, for you are a faithful God whose truth stands forever. Baruch ata Adonai, Melech al Kol Haaretz, Mekadesh Yisrael, Viyom Hazikaron. Our praise to you, Eternal One, whose power pervades all the earth. You bring holiness to the people Israel and to this day of remembrance. Israel, who to feed lot. 
Page 62. God, who is ours, God of all generations, to you we are grateful forever. Rock and protector of our lives, your saving power endures from age to age. We thank you and tell the tale of your praise, your power in our lives, your caring for our souls, the constant miracle of your kindness. Morning, noon, and night, we call you goodness, for your compassion never ends. We call you mercy, for your love has no limit. We call you hope now and for all time. For all these gifts, God of majesty, may your name come to be blessed and praised, our <laughs> gratitude a daily offering until the end of time. Inscribe your covenant partners for a life of goodness, and may all life resound with gratitude and faith and praise of your name, God, you free us and strengthen us. Baruch ata Adonai, hatov shimcha ulecha na elahodot. Blessed are you, Adonai, whose goodness deserves thanks and praise. Shalom, rock of Israel, amcha tasi. Israel Amcha Tassim Le'olam Ki atahu melech adon Lechol ha'ashalom Vetov benecha Varechet Hamcha Yisrael Bechol Eit of Cholsha Bishlomecha Bessevech Barachav shalom ufarnasa tova. Barachav shalom. Nizachev nikatev lefanecha. Anachnu 
Vechol Amcha Beit Yisrael Lechaim Tovim Ushalom Baruch Adonai Oseha We pause for a moment of our own personal prayer. You can use the words that are on pages 68 through 71 or those that are in your hearts. Say shalom, shalom aleinu, ve'akol Yisrael. Ya say shalom, ya say shalom, shalom aleinu, ve'akol Yisrael. O say shalom bim Roma, o ya say shalom aleinu. Shalom bim Roma, Buya a se shalom aleinu. O se shalom bim Roma, Buya a se shalom aleinu. Ya se shalom, ya se shalom, shalom aleinu. Velko Israel, ya se shalom. Ya se shalom, shalom aleinu ve'akho Yisrael. Ya se shalom, ya se shalom, shalom aleinu ve'akho Yisrael. Ya se shalom, ya se shalom, shalom aleinu ve'akho We take a moment to think of those in our community who are ill and in need of healing. Misha Berach is on page 72. A prayer for those who are ill and for givers of care. In this moment, we especially think of Arlene Arcus, Sarah Baker, Susan Cantor Cotri, Stacy Cotri Frankel, Annabeth Denny, Howard Franklin. Rick Grady, David Gurevich, Harav Tsiviachana Bat Sarava Yerach Miel, Trudy Herstein, Sharon Cassid, Ketter Levy, Howard Lieberman, Paulette McDermott, Joyce Metz, Mark Nelson, Tracy Phillips, <coughs> Alexander Retsky, Jerry Retsky, Benet Turner, Blanche Weinberger. May the Eternal One who blesses all life bless and strengthen all of us who struggle against illness. May we whose lives are touched by illness be blessed with faith, courage, love, and caring. May we experience the support and sustenance of family, friends, companions, and community. May we be granted restful nights and days of comfort. 
We pray for refuah shlema, precious moments of healing, and a sense of wholeness in body and soul. May those who care for the sick with their hands, their voices, and their hearts be blessed with courage and stamina. May those who pursue healing through medical skill and knowledge be blessed with insight, patience, and compassion. May all of us, the sick and the well together, find courage and hope. And let us say, Amen. Refainu Adonai Bene Rafe Oshienu Veniva Shea El Karov Lecho Karav Acharov Lireav Yisho We pray for healing of the body we pray for healing of the soul, for strength of flesh and mind and spirit. We pray to once again behold. Hail na Page 74. Avinu Malkenu, strong was the faith of generations before us. In exile, they proclaimed enduring hope. In the shadow of persecution, they affirmed a transcendent love and compassion. Ours is a different age, less confident and certain, more tentative in its trust. There are many who say to the works of their hands, you are our gods, but when our worship centers on our own creations, we feel less gratitude, more doubt, and despair. This is the paradox of our spiritual lives. We grow smaller in self-exaltation, nobler when we reach for you. On this night of return, let us find the humility to come close to you and open ourselves to your presence. 
for you are absent only when we fail to make room for you in our hearts, distant only when we turn away from you. <coughs> now, as others have done before us, let us overcome doubt and speak these words of affirmation. We call you Avinu. As loving parent, forgive our wrongs and failings. Accept us in our human frailty. We call you Malkenu. As sovereign of our souls, help us rise from our brokenness to build a world of shalom. To this vision, we offer ourselves anew. Avinu Malkenu, almighty and merciful, you alone are our sovereign. Avinu Malkenu, for your sake, show us mercy. Avinu Malkenu, act toward us as befits your name. Avinu Malkenu, bring healing and wholeness to the ill among us. Avinu Malkenu, allay the harshness of the decree against us. Avinu Malkenu, inscribe us in the book of redemption and renewal. Avinu Malkenu, remember our goodness and call it to mind. Avinu Malkenu, act for your sake and save us. Avinu Malkenu, almighty and merciful, hear our voice. Avinu Malkenu, we have strayed and sinned before you. Avinu Malkenu, have compassion on us and on our families. Avinu Malkenu, halt the onslaught of sickness, violence, and hunger. Avinu Malkenu, halt the reign of those who cause pain and terror. Avinu Malkenu, enter our names into the book of lives well lived. Avinu Malkenu, renew for us a year of goodness. Avinu Malkenu, chonenu va'anenu ki ein banu ma'asim, asei imanu tzedaka v'chesed v'hoshiyenu. Avinu Malkenu, almighty and merciful, answer us with grace, for our deeds are wanting. <coughs> Save us through acts of justice and love. Avinu Malkenu, Shema Koleinu. Avinu Malkenu, Chatanu Lefanecha. Avinu Malkenu, Chamol Aleinu. Avinu Malkenu Kale Dever Avinu Malkenu Kale Avinu Malkenu, Avinu Malkenu, Kotvenu, Besef Bechayim Tovi, Avinu Malkenu, Kadesh Aleinu, Kadesh Aleinu, Dark 
On page 78, we declare the day to be holy over through the use of a cup of wine. Lift this cup for the year that is gone, for mountaintop moments and the taste of joy, celebrations shared, milestones met, all we've mastered and achieved since last we met. For wedding rings, tears, and kisses under the chuppah, new babies, first words, and first steps, for the children who bless our homes and bring life to our community, for B'nai Mitzvah and confirmands, young teachers of this holy congregation, ours to cherish and guide with love, for beloved wives and husbands, sisters and brothers, for loyal friends who grow more precious with each passing year, <coughs> for this community which nourishes us all, for all we've learned, for all we've struggled through, for challenges surmounted and disappointments met with courage, for last moments shared with those we loved and lost, for parents and grandparents whose memories are with us forever. We lift this cup for the year that has gone, for the year that begins. May we meet it in strength, in unity, in hope. We lift life's cup and celebrate survival. <coughs> so may we sanctify each day that is ours. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Borei peri agafen. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Asher b'chobanu mikolam, Baromamanu mikol ashom, V'kidushanu b'mitzvotav, V'atitain lanu Adonai Eloheinu ve'ahava et yom azikaron hazeh yom teru. Ziat Mitzrayim Kivanu v'charta Yotanu kidashta Mikol hamim Udvaracha emet V'kayam La'ad Baruch ata Adonai Melech ha'kol ha'aretz Mekadesh Yisrael V'yom hazikaron Amen Shana Tova. Shana Tova. What, if, what a difference a year makes. In some ways, we are back to where we were. We are celebrating another new year, which is to be expected. COVID is spreading rapidly again, which I did not expect. In some ways, we are in a completely different place, literally. And I have to take a moment to thank Pastor Paul and Chadwick and Lou and Rick and everyone else here at the Preston Meadow Lutheran Church who have gone out of their way to make us feel welcome and be able to celebrate the High Holy Days in such a beautiful and spiritual space. It's also different this year because we are able to celebrate together in person 
even though many of you are joining us from home. The biggest difference for me, though, is how I feel this year compared to last year. Last year, I felt like all hands on deck. We were pulling together to create something new yet traditional. We were figuring things out, even if we had to make it up. It was stressful, so stressful, but it was also energizing, almost like we were the rabbis in the year 71, the first year after the Roman destruction of the temple in Jerusalem. And it was up to us to keep the observance of Judaism alive and thriving. And we did it. We rallied together and created beautiful and meaningful services last year. This year, in contrast, I feel broken, shattered in a way that I didn't feel last year. Frank died and Lupe followed him just six months later. This summer, I was finally able to visit their grave at the National Cemetery in San Antonio, but it didn't seem to help me process my grief. As the epidemic dragged on, some people lashed out, being mean and nasty in a way that they would not have been in the past. Whether I deserved it or not, I became their target. The emotional climate of, the na of national and world events is completely toxic. The latest conflict in Gaza has opened a torrent of anti-Semitism that makes me feel unsafe in a way that I hadn't felt before. The general sense of uncertainty is harder and harder to bear. And just when we were beginning to think that it was all about to end, the Delta variant set us back to the beginning. I feel broken and exhausted, but I don't have the same reserve capacity this year as I did last year. Most of my colleagues confess to feeling the same way. I imagine that many of you do too. Not everyone, mind you. Some of us thrived during the last year, and there is no shame or guilt in having done so, only gratitude. But for those of us who do feel broken, where do we go from here? Where do we go from this first day of the new year, the birthday of the world? In the beginning, there was only God. But being the only anything is lonely. So God, in an act of tzim tzum, contra contracted God's infinite self to create space for us to exist in, to create the world whose birthday we celebrate today. But the concentrated light that was God's contracted self shattered in the creation of that space, scattering the holy sparks of God's light throughout all of creation. The task of repairing the world, tikkun olam, was left to us. It is our job to release those sparks of divine light, repairing the world. So you see, brokenness isn't a bug in the system, it's a feature of creation. Brokenness is inherent to our existence, even necessary for our existence. In Vayikra Rabbah, Rabbi Alexandri is quoted, if the simpleton keeps trying to use broken vessels, it's shameful. But the holy blessed one's vessels are all broken ones, and it's not shameful. As it is written in Psalms that God is healer of the brokenhearted and present with the lowly and suffering. God knows who and what we are, that we are all broken vessels. Yet God leaves it up to us, broken and shattered though we are, to work on the task of tikkun olam, the task of healing the world. Rabbi Menachem Mendel of Kotsk, the Kotsk Rebbe, is famous for having said, there is nothing more whole than a broken heart. Now this is not to be confused with that utterly ridiculous and demonstrably false statement from Friedrich Nietzsche. You know the one that I'm talking about. That which doesn't kill us makes us stronger. That which doesn't kill you can maim you, scar you, and weaken you for life. Utter nonsense. But the Kotzka Rebbe, 
He recognized that when we see how broken we are, we are more able to empathize with the brokenness of others. That when we realize how broken we are ourselves, we don't judge others by a false measure of unattainable perfection. We are more whole as human beings when we see our own brokenness. And that becomes the question. How do we turn the sense of brokenness that we might feel right now and turn it into a greater sense of wholeness, empathy, and compassion? I'm lucky, we all are actually, to have Valerie Klein as our Director of Education. I'm lucky because she's always one, sometimes 36 steps ahead of me. Valerie is constantly trying to elevate me and the other teachers so that we can be our best for our students. A couple of weeks ago, Valerie arranged for us to learn remotely with Dr. Betsy Stone about trauma and growth. With thanks to Dr. Stone and Valerie, I would like to share with you this evening some of what I learned. The first thing I learned is that after trauma, what we have lived through over the last 18 months, what we are still going through now, we don't just bounce back. Bouncing back is resilience, like when a tree sways in a windstorm, but after the storm, the tree remains upright, the way it was before, and ready to continue as if the storm had never been. But a trauma creates a permanent change, like the limb of a tree falling off in the windstorm. The tree must grow bark where the missing limb used to be, and then grow more limbs to take full advantage of the light. Don't expect to just bounce back. We have to grow our way past the trauma we are living through. And Dr. Stone shared six ways that we might grow and change as a result of trauma. Most people don't experience all of them, but as I sat there listening, I was mentally going, check, check, check. See how much these resonate with you too. It might help explain some of what we've experienced in this last year and a half. First, we might become more aware of personal strengths that we had no idea that we possessed, or develop strengths that we never thought we could. I remember when my father was ill and the experimental chemo was only offered at a hospital in the Bronx. I was at work during the day and my father was far too ill to drive himself. So my mom, who never drove on the highway, learned how to drive on the highway, how to drive through New York City traffic, and how to find a parking spot in the Bronx. You never know what you're capable of until you have no choice. And you can hold on to those strengths even after they're no longer needed. Second, you have a chance to learn what really matters to you. So many people have reprioritized how they want to spend their time, who they want to spend it with, and what their goals in life really should be. As long as you're forced to make a change, you might as well change to something you really want rather than doing the same old thing because of inertia. We should take the time to reevaluate what really matters to us. A third way people grow is by experiencing an increase in compassion and altruism. Often, when bad things happen to us, our eyes are opened to the bad things that happen to others. And with newly opened eyes, we want to reach out and help others, to give a little extra to the food pantry, to forgive slights that would have annoyed us in the past, knowing that we're all under tremendous stress, to put ourselves in others' shoes and attempt to help where we can. Connected to the being more compassionate and altruistic is the fourth area of growth being appreciative, not taking that which we are blessed with for granted. I know just how badly people suffered. Members of our own community suffered during the great freeze last winter. 
I got lucky. I never lost power for even a moment. My neighborhood must be on some essential grid point. I am so very grateful for that enormous blessing that I never lost power or experienced damage from frozen pipes. I'm also grateful that I have a job I love and I've never experienced the worry or worse, the reality of being evicted. I have my health, I am blessed and blessed again. And we should never take for granted the blessings we enjoy. The fifth area of growth took me by surprise, and that is an increase in creativity. Personally, I did create what I am calling my pandemic series of linoleum block prints. Sometimes I think the creative process is the only thing that kept me sane during long periods of isolation. What I also understand is that we can expect not only an explosion of creative arts, but also creative companies founded during this period as people have time to think and let their imaginations run free. Finally, the sixth area of growth is spirituality. The recognition that there is something more and greater than ourselves. Not the same thing as being more religious, which has more to do with ritual and practice, though I appreciate your being here, but rather an expanded consciousness. Taken all together, it all adds up to creating meaning in our lives. They are all there to answer the questions like, who am I and who do I want to be? What do I want to do with my life? How can I live a life that is more expansive than one focused only on my individual self? And that's exactly what Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur have always been about, just without the trauma. It's about reevaluating our lives and choosing to do better, to live more meaningful lives. Today, is the birthday of the world, and we celebrate it with the blasts of the shofar, the sounding of the ram's horn. We start with the tekiah, a single long note. It is followed by shivarim, a tekiah that has been shattered and broken into three equal pieces. The shivarim is further shattered, each into another three pieces for a total of nine short blasts, a teruah, an alarm meant to rouse us. And then, a return to wholeness, a final tekiah, a single note, broken into three, shattered into nine, and returned to the wholeness of a single note. We may feel broken now, we may feel shattered, but ultimately, we return to wholeness. Let it be a wholeness that improves the way we live our lives. Shana Tova. I'd like to invite up Terry Siegel, president of our congregation, for some words of greeting and some announcements. Shana Tova. Happy New Year to everyone. It is so great to see so many people have joined us tonight, um, both um, in person and, and virtually um, for High Holy Days. Um, I have several thanks um, tonight and throughout the High Holy Days, so I'll just start off with a few. I'd like to first start off by thanking Rabbi Sternman, thank you, and for leading us this evening. Um, also, Randy Perlman, John Schweiker, thank you, and Jonathan Goldstein, thank you for sharing such beautiful music with us tonight. It's especially sweet this year to have a place where we can be with one another to celebrate these high holy days. And we are here tonight because of what Preston Meadow Lutheran Church has done. Thank you to Reverend Paul Masaccio, to um, facilities manager Chadwick um, Stelzel, I'm sorry, for your hospitality. Um, and to Lou Williams and Rick Grady back there in the AV group, AV um, booth. Thank you so much, guys. Um, it's um, what you guys are doing, miking, amplifying the sounds and streaming our service is so appreciated, thank you. We, uh, we usually thank in preparation for these services, um, thank you 
I'm sorry, thank you to Rabbi Sturman, Dottie Fox, Faith Retsky, Kevin Spinher, and the RPC committee for all the planning towards the High Holy Days, and also to Dana Goldstein and the Brotherhood crew, thank you. Um, you guys um, moved all our books and our ark and made this um, the beautiful sanctuary that we are, are, are here tonight to, to enjoy, and also to the ushers for, 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 for your help tonight. Um, thank you to Sheila Gardner in, the, Gardner in the office for all your preparation, logistics, and behind-the-scenes work. Um, due to COVID protocols and distancing, we weren't able to be joined by the normal folks on the BEMA. However, I still want to honor two of the auxiliary groups tonight. Um, Sharon Diamond and Lori Skolnick with women of Adat Havarim, our Adat Havarim co-presidents, and Ben Silver, our brotherhood president. Also, our annual High Holidays food drive is a tradition as we um, have with many other things, but it's a bit different this year. Instead of dropping off food donations, we've placed a link in our High Holy Days webpage um, to direct you to a location where you can make a monetary donation to the JFS. So if you go, if you're online or if you're um, with business tonight, later on if you visit our High Holy Days page, you'll see a link to JFS. Um, thank you for your participation. A few quick announcements. Um, 10.30 tomorrow morning, we'll be back here for Rosh Hashanah morning services, and we'll also be streaming the service online. 3 p.m. tomorrow, we'll have um, a short family service, um, followed by Tashlik and the sounding of the shofar at the Frisco Commons Park. Um, details to all of our services can always be found on our website. And with that, I wish everyone a happy and healthy new year, and I'll talk to you more in the morning. Shana Tava. Our concluding prayers begin on page 82. Would you all please rise for Elenu? Page 82. Alenu l'shabeach la dod hakol latet ged la leyotze breshit shelo asanu gego yeharatzot velo samanu kamishpachot adama shelo sam chelkenu kahem vego ralenu kechol hamon. Vanachnu korim, umistachavim umodim, lepne melech malche hamlachim, akadosh baruch. Ours is the duty to praise the All-Sovereign, to honor the artist of creation, who made us unique in the human family with a destiny all our own. For this we bend our knees and bow with gratitude before the Sovereign, Almighty Monarch of all, the wellspring of holiness and blessing, who spread out the sky and fashioned the land, who dwells in beauty far beyond sight, whose powerful presence is the loftiest height. You are our God, there is none else, we take as true your sovereignty. There is no other, as Torah teaches. Embrace and carry in your heart this day. In heaven above, on earth below, the eternal is God. There is no other. And so, Adonai, our God, we look to you, <coughs> hoping soon to behold the splendor of your power revealed, a world free of idolatry and false gods, a world growing more perfect through divine governance, a world in which all human beings may make known beings make known in your name, while those who do evil turn toward you. Page 87.
These things I know, how the living go on living and how the dead go on living with them, so that in a forest even a dead tree casts a shadow and the leaves fall by one, one by one, and the branches break in the wind and the bark peels off slowly and the trunk cracks and the rain seeps in through the cracks. And the trunk falls to the ground and the moss covers it and in the spring the rabbits find it and build their nest inside the dead tree so that nothing is wasted in nature or in love. Our thoughts turn to loved ones whom death has taken from us in recent days and those who died at this season in years past. Our hearts open as well to the wider circles of loss in our community and wherever grief touches the human family. Zichronam Livracha, may their memories be a blessing in this new year and always. This week during the period of Shaloshim, the 30-day mourning period, we remember Rabbi Kerry Baker. And on the anniversary of their passing, we remember Melvin Blumberg, Howard Fine, Herman Halperin, Murray Cantor, David Minko, Louis Shapiro. To these names, we add the names of those who have been killed as a result of war and terrorism, especially in Israel and the Middle East, all of the martyrs of our people, the six million for whom there is no one left to say Kaddish Yatom, and the righteous of all peoples and all nations whose lives have been a blessing to humanity. On page 90, we rise in order to praise God's name. Yitkadal v'yitkadash shemei rabah b'yalma divra chirute v'yamlich malchute b'chayechon v'yomechon v'chayye dechol beit Yisrael Bagala uvizman kari vimru amen. Yehe shme raba mivarach le alam alme almaya. Yit barach viyish tabach viyit paar viyit dramam viyit nase. Viyit hadar viyit talev viyit talal shme de kudushab brihu. La ela ula ela mi kol birchata vishirata. Tush bechata venechemata. Da amiran bialma vimru amen. Yehe shlama raba min shamaya. Vehaim alenu ve al kol Yisrael vimru amen. O se shalom bim romav, huya a se shalom, alenu ve al kol Yisrael ve al kol yoshve tevel vimru amen. May the source of peace send peace to all who mourn and comfort to all who are bereaved, and together we say, Amen. Please be seated. We continue on page 94. Our concluding song, Adon Olam. Adon Olam, Asher Malach, Beterem Kol Yitzir Nivra, Le'et Nasa, Bechet Sokol, Azai Melech Shemo Nikra, Ve'achare Kiklot HaKol, Levado Yimloch Nora, Ve'hu Haya, Ve'hu Hobe, Ve'hu Yie Betifara, Ve'hu Echad, Ve'en Sheni, Le'ham Shilo, Lehachbira, Veli Reshit, Veli Taklit, Velo Haos, Amizra, Yala la 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 la, Yala la 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 la, Yala la 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 la, Yala la la la, Yala la 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 la la, the who a leave, the chai go a leave, the two have leave, the eight sara, the who needs you, manosly, the not co see, the yome gra, Yala la 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 la, Yala la 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 la, Yala la 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 la, Yala la la la. Yalla la 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 la, yalla la 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 la, yalla la 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 la, yalla la la la. Be yado afkid ruchi, be eti ishan, be aira, be im ruchi gaviati. Adonai li belo ira. Yalla la 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 la, yalla la 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 la. Yalla la 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 la, yalla la la la, yalla la 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 la.
On page 98, a blessing for the new year. Our God and God of all generations before us, may it be your will in the coming year to grant us a year of abundance and atonement, a year of blessings bestowed and received, a year of community and compassion, a year of delight and exaltation, a year of enlightenment, a year of friendship and forgiveness, a year of going up in gladness to the land of Israel, a year of health and healing and humor, a year of inner strength and well-being, a year of joy and Jewish celebration, a year of knowledge and learning for its own sake, a year of love between parents and children, friends and spouses, brothers and sisters, a year of mitzvot and moments of sweetness, a year of nature protected and enjoyed, a year of optimism and hope, a year of peace pursued with perseverance, a year of quiet and tranquility, a year of rain in its season, a year of song and spiritual growth, a year of Torah study and tikkun olam, a year of understanding and unity, a year of vows fulfilled and violence overcome, a year of wisdom acquired and shared, a year of coexistence among the families of the earth, a year of young and old reaching out to one another, a year of Zion aglowed with light for us and all the world. Our God and God of the generations before us, grant us a year of gratitude to you for the most profound of blessings, your gift of life. Yehi ratzon milfanecha Adonai Eloheinu velohe avotenu imotenu shitechadesh aleinu shana tova umtuka. Our God and God of our ancestors, eternal God of all generations, may your presence in our lives this new year renew our spirits and renew our strength. May it be a good year. May it be a sweet year. Shana tova tika tevu. Shana tova. Shana tova. Thank you.